Hi, welcome to Moomoo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the side length of an isosceles triangle. And we're going to look at A, B, C, this triangle. Okay, the length of a leg is A. So if you look at this triangle, we have A, B, C, and those are the vertices. And side A is opposite, little a is opposite angle A. So at little c is going to be opposite um, big C. So C, big C is the angle, little c is the side. Big B is the angle, so little b is this base down here. Okay, just so you get the reference of the sides. Okay, to find the length of one of the legs on this isosceles triangle, we're going to use this little formula. And it's really just a fancy formation of the Pythagorean theorem. So let's look at what we have. It's a kind of a neat little shortcut. So you're going to take the square root of b squared, and b is the side, the base, divided by 4, and then we're going to add the height squared. Well, the height is going to be this internal height. So let's see what we have, and we're going to plug it into this little formula here. Okay, so we've got this triangle, and our height is 10, because that's given to us, and the base is 8 down here, so this whole length across here is 8. And we're going to plug those into this formula to find A. So we're going to, A is equal to the square root, and this is B squared. Well, my B, my base, is 8, so 8 squared over 4 plus the height. Well, the height of the of the whole triangle is 10, so I'm going to plug in 10 here, and I'm going to square that. So all we have to do now is, is simplify this. So let's take this. 64, 8 squared is 64, so 64 over 4 plus 100 for 10 squared, and 64 divided by 4 is going to give me 16. 16 plus 100 will give me 116. Okay, from here, that's my answer, and I can write that as a decimal, but typically what we like to do is go ahead and simplify that. So let's see. Um, if I divide 116 by 2 to simplify this radical, so I'm going to take 116 divided by 2, and it's going to give me 58. And the 58 is even, so let's divide that by 2 again. That gives me 29. 29 times 2. Okay, once I get a pair, I can take it out of the radical. So this is going to simplify to 2 square root 29. And that's how long the base of this triangle is using this little formula. Okay, so hopefully that was kind of helpful. Another way to look at that is just to use the Pythagorean theorem. So if I split this triangle, I've got an isosceles triangle here. I know this altitude cuts this base in half. So if this base is 8, I can cut it in half and make that 4 on this side and 4 on this side. Then I can isolate this, this little right triangle right here. So my height would be 10. My base would be 4, and I had to have a right angle here. And then I can just use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side A over here. Okay, so I could take 4 squared plus 10 squared and that is adding up 16 plus 100 or 116. And I'm gonna, that's going to equal c squared, isn't it? Or a squared in this case. And I'm going to take the square root of that, which we know is 2 square root 29. So just another way to think about that. Hope this video is helpful on using our little shortcut formulas.